Well, good morning. It is day three, and today's a special day because it's the, it is the official Pixar Day at Sea. I got Sheriff Woody on my shirt. We all got different Pixar characters on our shirt, and so there's going to be a lot of character meet and greets, a lot of activity. Some of the stuff we don't exactly know what's happening, but it's going to be very Pixar-centric and the first of its kind, so we are so excited, and we hope you join us on this adventure. Today is our Pixar day. See, what do you got in your shirt? Jesse. Jesse. Little Evie here. She's got Rex. She loves dinosaurs, huh? What do you have in your shirt? The aliens that say the claw. Oh, nice. And last but not least, I got Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear's on his shirt, so we're all Pixar'd up and ready to go. And they put this cool decal on our window last night showing the Pixar day at sea. So this is called the Fish Extended. I don't know if I've talked about it already. It has our name on there, the Graham family. But it's been really cool because what you do is you exchange goodies with other people on the boat. And look, someone gave me some stitch stickers this morning. But people have left us various um, treats and good stuff in there, so that's a fun thing. Okay, for breakfast this morning, we're heading to the buffet, which is Cabanas. We haven't had breakfast here yet, but we're excited. I'll show you some of the breakfast offerings. Looks like we got a ham and cheese croissant and some scrambled eggs, first thing. This area is called Totally Toasted. We got some pastries over here. And in the middle here, looks like we got some red potatoes, some sauteed mushrooms, some spinach, and some grilled tomatoes. Oh, maybe possible. Moving on down, they got lots of proteins. They got corned beef hash, turkey bacon, bacon, and sausage. I'm going to hook that up. And we got the requisite Mickey waffles. We got some chocolate chip pancakes. And we got some hash browns in the back there. This is like the topping station. They got a little bit of everything. Some syrup, preserves, Ooh, and they got some peanut butter and butter. They got various bread items. They got toast, English muffins, bagels. And over here they do have some delicious eggs, Benedict. That looks amazing. I didn't see down here they have morning donuts and muffins and stuff too. Let me see what everybody got. I'm gonna, there's another station right here I told them I saw it on. Oh wow. Got a little bit of everything there. Yeah. Oh, Everly's got some Mickey waffles. Daddy got one too. So we're gonna dig in. Oh, what's that? A chocolate chip. Um, a chocolate. A chocolate. Chocolate chip muffin. That looks delicious. And in this middle section, looks like they got stuff that you can add to granola. And they got various milks and fruit as well, and some cut fresh fruit. This is the drink station. They got juice, various soft drinks. And they got some Joffrey's coffee, which is delicious. So, and if you're into tea, they got some tea. So they got a little bit of everything. And this drink station is the same at lunch as well. They always got some good coffee brewing. Okay, we're wrapping up breakfast here at Cabana's, and it was delicious. They offer quite a spread. Um, no one's going away hungry. Really high quality ingredients too: the eggs, bacon, all that stuff. Lots of pastries. Eggs Benedict, which was delicious. So. Cabana's pretty awesome. How was your brush gifts? Really good. Large variety of stuff. I don't even think I got all the way through the entire line, but I, my plate was already full, so <laughs> really, really delicious though. Nice. Another cool feature of the ship is out here on the deck by the pools, they show a movie kind of back to back to back. There's always something playing, which is nice. We've made it to the D Lounge and we are going to do some Pixar trivia challenge. The official most animated trivia challenge on the entire ship. So we just wrapped up the Disney Pixar tri trivia and uh, there's a lot of characters. I have no idea what their names are. We got knocked out early, but it was fun. Now we're going to go meet some characters.
waiting in line to see some Pixar characters. It's a long line though, but hopefully it'll be worth it to see Mike Wazowski, but there's a lot of people out and about. There's characters from Inside Out down there, also some up characters, Doug and Russell. So there's a lot of people roaming around the ship, um, but to actually get a picture with them, it's a long line, but we're looking forward to it. Okay, we've waited in a long line, but we're here to see Mike Wazowski finally. Now we're going to get some fancy coffees here at Cafe Vista. This is on the, I think the third deck. They have all sorts of offerings. You can get energy drinks, milk, teas. We're going to order a couple white chocolate mochas and let you know how it is. Oh, we got the white mocha and as you can see it's got Mike Wazowski on the top that we just saw. That wouldn't turn out so well, but this one looks great. Hey, we're about to do a meet and greet with, with joy and sadness. Are you excited? Yeah, super excited. They're some of my favorites. I love this movie. It's been a long, long line to get here, but hopefully it's worth it. We'll see. Wait, we're up next. Hi, Joy. Oh, see you. Hi there. How are you doing? How's the ship treating you? Oh, yeah. He wants to take your picture because you're so beautiful. <laughs> you are just gorgeous, and I like your dress. Lovely. Oh, look at oh, you Oh, she go. can spin. Oh my goodness, and your hair has sparkles. Hi there. Gorgeous. Hi, sadness. I need to give you a hug and cheer you up. Is that better? No. Oh. <laughs> your I'll give, hair is so beautiful. I'll give you one too. Oh, his hugs are oh. good. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. They are just great. I love how all the characters just stay in character all the time. It's so fun. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. Yes. Nice. Okay, what's and let's go over here. They're setting up for the Jack Jack. The Jack Jack. What is it? A baby dash? Yeah, they race babies. I guess they race babies. I don't know if that's sanctioned, but we are on international water, so I think it works. <laughs> And this is the official display for the Pixar Day at Sea. It's a photo op. It's got various characters on the side. Really cool looking. Got Woody there. Pixar Day at Sea. And it looks like they're preparing. There's a, like some sort of jack-jack race, baby race, that we're gonna do down here in the lobby. And they got a couple little jack-jacks on top of Minnie Mouse there. That's so cute. So this is Jack-Jack's incredible diaper race. And they got five different rows here. They're gonna start at one end and make their way to the other end there. But they're gonna have some babies racing out here. It looks like we're gathering a pretty good crowd at this point. Hello and welcome to
It is going to be truly epic as we head into this finale race. Oh, hang on a minute. Excuse me, darling. What is causing such commotion here? Why, even isn't it the mode fashion designer to the supers? Yes, yes, it is I and the mode. Um, what is all this? Well, we're about to have our final race of Jack Jack's Diaper Dash. Well, let's um, put this together. will too. Are you ready for our final race? Yes. Okay then, let's bring out our final competitors. found a friend and they're running up and down the stairs here. Now we are going to have a meetup with the Toy Story characters and everybody's excited. That seems to be one of our favorite Pixar movies. Are you ladies excited? <laughs> Munching down on some deliciousness there. So we are here in Animator's Palette. Oh, and we can see off in the distance there I can see Jesse and Buzz. Are you guys excited to see the characters? Yes, I can't wait. Oh my goodness. This is gonna, my favorite movie, so. That's gonna be awesome. And up in the ceiling here, which just pointed out, they have the Pixar ball you can see. Colored next to me. I just got it down like three weeks ago. Okay, Buzz Lightyear's up there. Are you gonna ask him any questions? Uh, if he likes my shirt. Oh yeah, you guys are kindred spirits. Okay, we've made it here. We got Buzz and Jesse. Oh, yeah, it's you. Look, they got he's wearing your shirt. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all these characters. Hey Buzz, how's it going? Hi Jesse. Hi Buzz. Hey, we just did a character meet and greet with Buzz as well as Jesse. Jesse. How was it? It was good. There was no Woody. <laughs> Not we today. saw we saw Woody at, at uh, breakfast the other day, so technically we I got to see him. But um, haven't seen Buzz this entire cruise, so it was nice to see him and Jesse. Of course. I and holding your tea. shirt matched. So did so did Mama. She's got yeah. Jesse on her shirt as well. They really liked them. So yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, they were really cool. And I like Jesse made a little pop sound when you hugged her. It was like. Oh. Yeah, I love Did you that. like seeing the characters, Everly? Yeah, he would have Who was your favorite? Who was your favorite? Oh, oh, oh. two of 
them. Two of them. Well, there was only two. <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> oh, Pluto still. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun seeing the characters there. Um, Pixar Day at Sea. A lot of Pixar characters, so a lot of fun. Okay, we got some Toy Story character meet and greet underway. Now we're going to go meet the Incredibles. So these are no additional charges, any of these. You just had to sign up in advance. It's kind of what they call a ticketed event, but we have reservations, so we're going to go see the Incredibles now. Hey, our meet and greet is at the tube. So we're here for the meet and greet with Mrs. Incredible and Edna Mode. This is so cool, and this is in the tube. It's kind of like a nightclub. Now, do we have any superpowers? Oh, you've got lots of eyes on your shirt. Maybe you got supervision. Oh, yes, that is very intense. Well, I still need glasses, so. Well, that's maybe why you've got the, the disguise going on. Yes, I'd like to join us. Oh, yes. You can hang out with the little one, Jack Jack, when I'm babysitting. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we could have like a play date or something, what do you think? Yeah, so we just had the incredible meet and greet, that was fun. We saw Edna and Mrs. Incredible, that was a fun time. So those are the two ones we had scheduled today. But we're still going to try to find some other characters throughout the boat. And what a wonderful mm -hmm. Pixar day at sea. If you like Pixar, this is your ship. Okay, we made it back to the room for a brief interlude. We had a really busy morning, seeing lots of Pixar characters, meet and greets, picture moments. You name it, had an excellent breakfast at Cabana's. And now we're gonna get a little pool time in. So it's pretty windy outside still, and it's really humid and kind of warm. So it should feel pretty good out there. I may hit the aqueduct again. I'm gonna try to see if they'll let me get away with this lanyard I have for the GoPro. If not, no big deal. We got a lot packed into the rest of the day, but right now we're gonna go hit the water. Well, just want to give you a quick update. We did some swimming and it was a little cold, a little windy out there. Everybody had a good time. I couldn't find anybody to ride the aqueduct with me. And since it's really windy, it's only uh, tandem riders only. So you have to have two people at a time, which is fine. So I didn't get to test out and see if my GoPro setup would have been allowed. Um, maybe one of these days, but we had a good time down there. And it's so nice if you're on the top deck, you can just sit and they have Pixar movies playing um, up on the big screen. And right really close to there, there's all sorts of food and drink items. I sipped a coffee, had a soft serve, drank a little of that Coke, you know, just kind of live in the lap of luxury. And then our dinner's not for a while, so we had a little pizza in between, which was actually pretty good. The crust is eh, fair to minimum, but the toppings were great. And so it's nice that everything's so close within walking distance that you can go and refresh water, anything else you need is right there. Okay, we are representing Seattle, and this is some delicious almond roca. And as you can see, these bags got Pixar characters on them. Mm -hmm. But we're participating in the Fish Extender program, and we've been getting treats in ours. I don't know why they call it Fish Extender. It just is what it is, but basically you exchange treats and other items with other people on the boat that have the similar Fish Extenders. So we're going to go drop some of these off and give a little joy to our fellow shipmates. Here we are. We're going to spread a little joy. Put this Stop. one, put this one in the very top right there. Okay, and then put this one in the very top again. Uh, no, top. Mommy, Here's our last stop for the night. We're gonna fill these up. Right. Okay, put this one in the middle. Middle. Put this one in the bottom, and then put this one in the top. There you go. Good job. We dropped all of them off for these two floors today. We'll definitely do the rest another time. Good job. Nice work. That'll make someone's e make someone's evening. So we just dropped off some delicious treats to some of our other fish extender buddies, and now we are heading out to the Pixar deck party. Should be a lot of fun. Now we're making our way out to the main deck to see the Pixar party. And there's a cool towel animal. It looks just like Wally. Just out here chilling. That's so cool. Okay, we're out here on the main deck waiting for the Pixar party. Place is packed. Quite a crowd behind me. But this is the first ever of its kind on a Disney cruise, so we're excited to see it.
just saw the Pixar Pal celebration, and it was awesome. There were so many characters at one spot, and the kids loved it. There was a lot of energy in the air. Amazing, so much fun, and they put it, did a great job. So I highly enjoyed it. What did you think of the Pixar show? It was amazing. I was so cool having all the characters out there and the party. And, yeah, really fun. Awesome. We are heading on into the Enchanted Garden. It's our second night of road eating here. Uh, it'll be curious to see if they change the menu at all, or if it'll be the same. So, so we're sitting here in Enchanted Garden, and this is a first. This is the Pixar Day at Sea version of the menu. We were just informed by our waiter that this is all new. We got some Princess Meredith smoked salmon, some mac and cheese, steamed bao, oh my goodness, that sounds so good. Cream of broccoli soup, got with some linguine, grouper filet, pork tenderloin, beef tenderloin, wow. Got a lot of amazing looking things. We'll have to get some of these offerings and let you know how it is. But this is really cool with the symbol, the Pixar Day at Sea. How unique. Okay, one thing awesome about a Disney cruise is you have the same server and drink guy while you're sitting here and he already knew that we love Shirley Temples, that Everly Rose loves milk. So he hooked us all up already and we ordered off the new Pixar menu. So that should be excellent. We're starting out with a little bread service looks delicious and our Korean uh, barbecue bao has just arrived and that looks delicious and it's got a couple dip dipping sauces so but uh cut into this and taste it and let you know how it is but it looks great okay just had that dumpling and it was delicious the dipping sauce was the star of the show it was delicious dumpling was well cooked had the Korean pork inside really tasty and I also ordered the shrimp mac and cheese because I figure go big or go home. Kara also got some looks like broccoli cheese soup. Looks delicious as part of our appetizers. Um, so I had the broccoli soup. I forget exactly what was part of it, but it was really delicious. Flavored really well. The consistency was great. Definitely recommend it. And as you can tell by my little dish here, the mac and cheese was terrible. <laughs> nope, it was amazing. The shrimp mac and cheese has been the best thing I've had on the boat so far. Creamy, delicious, they had some breadcrumbs on top. Just a couple shrimp in there, oh, the flavors were just on point. And so, if I could do it over again, I would just get several of these and that would be my meal. But it's definitely a good appetizer before the main course. If you get a chance to have this shrimp mac and cheese, do it. And what did these kids, what did you get, Holden? I got the pizza. As you can see, it, it's invisible pizza, or maybe I just ate it. Who knows? But it was very good. And Everly had her requisite mac and cheese. I got chicken um, tenders because I've been so obsessed with them recently. And a really nice trick about um, ordering food at restaurants is that they will get you anything. If you like something at Animators, they will give it to you, even if you're in the Enchanted Garden for dinner. Um, if you like something that flows, they will give it to you. Um, and I also got fruit as well, and that wasn't on the menu either. So I just really love their service here. Our main course has just arrived, and this is a chicken dish, and it looks a little spicy is what they were saying. Butter chicken. Butter chicken, and it's got some rice on the side, some pita bread. And I got adobo pork with pork belly. Got some uh, caramelized onions on there, and a bed of mashed potatoes. It looks really fancy and delicious. Let's see how it is. Oh, I still got my uh, my bib on to keep my shirt clean. But my dinner was amazing. The pork was well cooked. These, there were these little tiny medallions on a bed of mashed potatoes with like fried onions on top. So good. There was a little tiny side of pork belly, which I'm not a huge fan of pork belly. I tried some of it. It's really kind of fatty and greasy. Um, it just might not be my thing, but the rest of it was really, really delicious. Now, Kara had the chicken for dinner. How was it? Yeah, I had the butter chicken. Um, an Indian dish said it was probably going to be spicy, but not too spicy at all and delicious. Really well flavored. Um, the chicken was good and it had some uh, jasmine rice filling too. Done with our entrees and now there's a um, Pixar Day at Sea dessert menu. Let's see what they have inside here. Looks like we got some chocolate pot de crema. Ooh, cocoa strawberry churros, some almond cake, fudge sundae, 
almond tart, and a playful Pixar ball. Ooh, I'm interested to see what that thing is. And it's got the Incredibles. So one thing, if what we've done the last two meals when it comes to dessert is just order one everything. So there are five of us, so we do put a hurting on it. Uh, but it's kind of nice to try the variety. You don't just have to stick with one thing. So we got one of each coming, and we're gonna try them all out off that special Pixar Day at Sea menu. So we'll show you what it looks like, but there's always room for dessert, even though I'm full. Okay, we ordered one of everything. This is a Pixar ball. Not quite sure that is, it looks delicious. We got some strawberry churro action. Got this cool Pixar cake, the creme brulee chocolate, and a delicious sundae. So we're gonna sample all these and let you know how they are, but they look amazing. Well, in the words of Phil Swift, that's a lot of damage. We put a hurting on this dessert here, including the sundae. Of all the dessert, what was your favorite? The churros. As you can see, there's none oh, left. Oh, there's none left. We just have an empty churro <laughs> container. That's sad by itself. The churros were a big hit. That's they your favorite? They were so good. And they came with a, like a warm chocolate sauce to dip them in. Um, strawberry churros. Highly recommend. You have to have them. Nice. Holden, what was your favorite dessert? Um, Probably the churros also. They were amazing. Really good. Nice. Everly's, her favorite was everything. She <laughs> likes sugar. <laughs> Haley, did you try any dessert? I tried the churros and they were so, so good. Like, wow. I just love them. And the chocolate dip was so much better than what we had at Disney World. If you go back to our Disney World vlogs, we weren't a huge fan of the churros, but these definitely topped all the churros I've had, including Costco. <laughs> wow, that was some big words. So it definitely is a different dessert menu this evening than it was last night, and so a different um, regular menu as well. Churros overdose. Uh, churros are a hit. The dessert was amazing. Um, I like the cheesecake. That was my favorite. The churros were also good. The desserts tonight were way better than last night. So Pixar Day at Sea menu, awesome and delicious. We're wrapping up dinner here. We're going to continue on with the evening, but had an amazing, amazing time here at Enchanted Garden. Good service, excellent food. You can't go wrong. So we really felt spoiled and pampered here tonight. We are just leaving the Enchanted Garden and shout out to our server, Jackson. He's amazing and his partner's amazing too. Had a really good time with him serving us. So it's cool that your server stays with you, kind of get to know him. Like today we sat down, they already gave us Shirley Temples, which everybody likes. Gave little Everly her milk. So they get to know what you like, what you don't like, and they kind of cater to your needs. So that's a pretty awesome feature here. But now we're gonna go check out the party on the deck. Rumor has it, there may be some fireworks. Looking forward to it. Super glad that you are here to help celebrate our Heroes of Honor, the most renowned heroes in all of Municiburg. Now, who's ready to celebrate?
just the thing to truly ignite this celebration with a bang. That's right, everyone look to the sky. Incredible fireworks starting now! So we just saw the incredible show and it was awesome. There was like all the characters running around. They lost Jack Jack and you kind of had to find him on the ship. What did you think about it? Oh, it was really cool. It was a little long leading up to it, but um, yeah, the Jack Jack part was a surprise and really fun. Um, and the fireworks show was great. Yeah, they ended it with a nice finale of fireworks and superhero music and they kind of had a dance party out there. So place was super packed. Um, if you go to something like this, Get there early so you can get a good spot. Luckily, some kind of guy, some guy let me in um, to film on top. But it was a good show. Of the two different shows we saw today, though, I like the Pixar specific one better. Yeah. Um, but they're both amazing and all included. And the fireworks are a nice finale. When we went to Disneyland, Disney World a couple years ago, there was no fireworks going on, so it was a good kind of catch up to see some tonight. Yep. It was good, but it's been a long day. We've packed so much in. And now we're gonna head back to the stateroom, get some rest, that way we can do some excursion action in Tortola tomorrow. Ooh. We've been at sea this entire time. It's our first port of call we're gonna to go to, and it's gonna be awesome. So we gotta get our rest, and then we'll head out tomorrow. If you like this type of content, give us a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please do, and make sure and smash that bell, that way you can watch us on our next adventure. Thanks for watching. So we're back in the room, and true to form, we have an animal. And that looks like Wally. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. They gave us the chocolates on there. But Wally is our towel animal of the night. So adorable. And we saw like a bigger scale Wally out of the pool earlier. One of my favorite movies. That's so neat. Do you That's like adorable. Do you like Wally? Yeah. Yeah. He's so cute. She likes the chocolate more. I was looking forward to eat the chocolate. <laughs> oh man. You never. She doesn't have a sweet tooth at all. I never thought I would like towel animals so much but i do they're a lot of it's fun it's so fun aren't they though yeah it's really fun to come come in and, yeah. and see what what what's gonna appear on your bed exactly <laughs> our 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 host does so well and true to form as well she's arranged everly's stuffies on the bed as well that's so sweet they're all set up and ready for nighttime Ew. And my favorite Toy Story character would have to be Duke Kaboom, because he's got a sweet mustache. And he rides a motorcycle, so awesome.